To solve a system of equations using substitution, when neither of the equations has an isolated variable, we have to kind of do a couple of extra steps. Now, if you look at both of the equations, they both are written in standard form. So we don't have one equation where there's just a single variable isolated on one side of the equal sign. So what we need to do first is we need to get an equation that has an isolated variable. Now, what you want to look for when you're determining which equation to rewrite is you want to look for a variable term that has a coefficient of 1. And even a coefficient of positive 1 is even better. Now, if we look at this first equation here, x plus 2y equals 10, the x term has a positive 1 as the coefficient. So what's going to happen is we're going to rearrange this equation here because the only thing that we need to do in order to isolate that x is the, we just need to subtract 2y from both sides. So we end up getting x equals negative 2y plus 10. So now we have an equation with an isolated variable. If you wanted to, with that same equation, you could, of course, go through and solve for y to get y as your isolated variable. But as you can see, as we go through and start solving for y, and we divide every single piece by 2, we end up with something that's just a little bit messier to go through and substitute in. You can always do that, okay? But a lot of times it's a little bit more efficient if you go through and you actually solve the equation for the variable that just has that coefficient of 1, not a coefficient of something different, like this guy here that has a coefficient of 2. So we're going to stick with solving for x in this first equation. And then from here, we're just going to rewrite the other one so that we have the two equations kind of lined up on top of each other. And again, we're going to take the expression from the equation with the isolated variable, and we're going to substitute it into the other equation. Since it says x equals negative 2y plus 10, and x is that isolated variable, we're going to take that expression that's boxed out, and we're going to substitute it in for x. So now, make sure that when you actually substitute in that expression, you drop down every other piece of that equation. And now if you look, again, we just have a variable of y, so we should be able to solve this out. So if we distribute the 3 to that expression, we get negative 6y plus 30, drop down our plus 4y, and our equals 8. Combining your like terms, you get negative 2y plus 30 equals 8. And then we're going to subtract 30 from both sides. We get negative 2y equals negative 22. So if you divide both sides by negative 2, you get y equals 11. But now just like in the other example, since we are solving a system, you need to figure out what both the x value and y value would be of that point of intersection if you were to graph the two lines. So now that we have the y value, we're going to take that and we're going to substitute that back in to the equation that has the isolated variable. So then this is going to give us x equals negative 22 plus 10. So x is going to equal negative 12. And then once you have both values for x and y, you want to write your solution as a point. So the solution to this system would be negative 12, comma 11. And remember, you can always check to make sure that you solved your system correctly by substituting in negative 12 and 11 into both equations.